Good morning and welcome to Pistols Progress episode 16. I'm Heather Smith, the creator of BarrelRacingTips.com and lately I've been getting my best barrel horse back in shape for competition and bringing you along for the ride behind the scenes. So every Monday, Wednesday and Friday I'll be sharing a little bit about what we're working on as well as some tips and takeaways that you can apply with your horses. So today was a true adventure for Pistol and I. We had to mix up our routine a little bit. We just got done with our ride and um, we had to mix things up because uh, on the 4th of July we got a good inch of rain here. And so um, next week there's supposed to be more rain and so I have plans to go to the cover arena to get his uh, workouts in. But today, in order to keep making progress, um, but unable to use the arena here at home, and not quite having the time in my schedule to haul to the covered arena today, I decided to take him for a little trail ride down the road. And I thought, even if I don't get to exercise his body as much as I would like, it will be a really good test for where he's at mentally. Now, in years past, I've done tons and tons of trail riding with Pistol. Like he has, he's definitely a horse that has been there and done that. But then in 2012, he had an injury, and for about five years, he he didn't do a lot of anything or go a lot of places um, at all. And so um, it's not that we have to start all over necessarily, but the confidence that I remember him having in years past in those sort of riding out situations. I feel like in those years where he was laid off, like we lost some of that. But there can be a lot of different reasons for this too. Um, and so I'm going to go into a little bit of that today um, about how we can create that balance of um, uh, focus and energy in our horses of varying personalities, how we can do that through horsemanship, and also how we can tweak those things through diet. And then I wanted to talk a little bit about um, riding surfaces and what I choose uh, based on the circumstances. I outfitted him today when we went down the road, which in part we had to ride on a little bit of gravel and a little bit of asphalt. I choose these um, easy boots. They're easy boot gloves from Easy Care. And so I'll go, they're his Velcro sneakers. So I'll go into a little bit about that, why I choose those and why they're so amazing for a lot of different situations. Um, but also I wanted to talk about the importance of variety and consistency. And so Pistol is a little bit more of a laid back horse by nature. And so one thing that's really important um, just for his, to maintain his interest and energy levels and motivation is um, introducing a lot of variety. And the more activities that I can do with him that cause him to actually think and use his brain, the more it's gonna inspire him and liven him up and um, cause him to have a lot more effort and energy in whatever I ask him to do. And so some, sometimes what I do is like I'll try to start every ride a little bit differently. Like I might just go make a lap around this pasture first or I might go do a couple minutes of, of like a groundwork exercise over here or you know just mix it up and keep them guessing. And today was really amazing because at first I was thinking oh I have to I like I'm not gonna be able to get his full workout in you know I mean I wasn't really upset because I'm actually ahead of schedule you know that's what happens when we give ourselves plenty of time um, to get our horses conditioned and prepared for competing is that um, if we have a little bit of a setback here and there it's not a big deal so good morning Billy so um Anyway, uh, we, uh, we ended up, um, before I took him down the road, I thought I would take him for a lap around the pasture first, you know, where he's comfortable. And um, so we went around the pasture, and I thought, actually, the footing out here isn't bad. Like, so here's the thing. The ground here where we live is, um, has a lot of clay. So when it's really dry, I would not exercise a horse out in the pasture, especially not a horse who is an aged horse, who's riding a fine line soundness wise, who, and when we're in kind of conservation preservation mode because it's just too much concussion on that hard ground for their body. 
Now, on a younger horse doing it once in a while, that's kind of a different story. But I felt like I was able to do some exercising out in the pasture today because the ground is a little bit cushioned because it just has some moisture in it from the rain where it's not slippery, but it's kind of soft. And so we just did um, some laps around the pasture, trotting and then loping, and he was just awesome. I could just chuck a loose rein to him in the wide open, and he just maintains lope. He picks up his leads perfectly. I didn't really have super high expectations for like training on him necessarily. It was just more like an exercise ride. And so um, anyway, that went really well. So I came back to the barn, and I outfitted him in all four with these um, hoof boots. And so that's kind of like um, having uh, like uh, Dr. Scholl's on our feet, basically. And a lot of us won't, we won't really put two and two together as far as like how the ground, hard ground surfaces affect us until we maybe get to that like 35 years old range. And, um, and just we realize that just standing around or working on hard surfaces like concrete, like dang, it makes your feet kind of achy. Even if even if you don't have a history of injuries or whatever. It's just the wear and tear that kind of compiles over time. So Pistol has incredibly healthy feet. He's just rock crunching on gravel. He does not get tender footed at all. But if I'm gonna be taking him on a ride for down and doing some work or just walking on some asphalt and hard uh, gravel, I will put these boots on just to avoid creating an inflammatory process or making him just kind of achy and sore. And so, um, anyway, what I was really thrilled with is, uh, like I said, in the past five years when I just haven't, wasn't able to really get him out and do as much with him, I feel like we backtracked and I lost some of his confidence. So I actually wrote about this in a post at barrelracingtips.com. But there was, um, there was a time when I would go down the road and he like wasn't the same old pistol from days gone by, like where he would get like worked up or anxious about about that and so um, you know and like I said it could have been situational or something in his diet or something in you know um, internally that was just kind of off that caused him to behave in that way uh, so that's something to really really keep in mind but um, today of course there are all these other factors like it's extremely hot so any horse is gonna be a little more woosa than on a, you know a day where it was cool um, but he's not necessarily uh, he's not in a real great shape this is like maybe his fourth ride in like a, a year and so to be able to ride him down the road past barking German Shepherds and and again we don't really go trail riding often these days anymore you know and um, so, but what I'm getting to is that I am so absolutely thrilled, like absolutely, it just made my heart so full um, to, for him to be like so cool and calm about every aspect of the ride. And like I said, I set him up for it. I rode him and exercised him out here first. There were some, you know, specific things I thought about in preparation to just like set him up for success. I put a little bit of um, uh, essential oils like a calming uh, liquid Xanax from Deanna Harrison, which um, if you do have a horse like .com who does tend to get a little bit, you know, we do so much through good quality horsemanship and diet, but for some like super, superstar athletes that sometimes we can find something all natural like a herbal keep cool from Silver Lining is another one that is amazing. Um, that we can give, but I've got a couple of those little tricks up my sleeve for just sort of bridging that gap and helping create like the either the energy level or the mental the calmness that we need once we've done everything we possibly can through good quality education, built confidence building, and quality horsemanship. Some of those little things can um, help bring us all the way and create that like perfect peak sort of focus and energy levels that we want. So. On that, there's one quick thing I wanted to show you. So I mentioned um, last time that Pistol was just like a little bit sluggish and he is, um, we are transitioning between uh, joint support right now. So he was maybe a little bit stiff. It's super hot this time of year. He's not in super great shape yet. But if you ever have a horse that is more laid back like he is, 
um, or you're in these sort of situations um, and they do need a little bit more pep in their step but you really like to stick to products that are more all natural, I definitely recommend Product X from Animal Element. They have some excellent products. Their foundation detox is amazing too. Also, they're in the zone paste. I like that as well. So this is my go-to for putting a little bit more um, pep in your horse's step. And my go-to's for uh, calming on the other end of things for .com, for example, would be Keep Cool from Silver Lining Herbs and then Deanna Harrison's Liquid Xanax Essential Oils. So, but anyway, today I was just reminded how um, initially I was kind of disappointed about the rain and I was reminded about how nurturing and fulfilling it is to just be like out in nature and enjoying beauty like with your best friend and I was just it almost like oh makes me emotional just thinking about it but um, there just isn't anything better than uh I was, I was writing and I was thinking to myself, like, this is what it's about. Like, it is about doing what you love with your best friend. And he was just so amazing and he made it, like, so enjoyable. And so many people will think, oh, it's just about finding the right horse. And I won't deny that he has, like, an amazing personality. He has so many good qualities and, and um, attributes that are God-given, but what we build with our horses has so much to do with what we invest in them and how we invest it, and that's how it's gonna get returned to us. And so we have to be constantly analyzing what we're bringing to the table if the, the picture that we're, that's looking back at us is, is not really what we want. And then, um, and then when we do, when we are really pleased and satisfied, you know, it's like just, it's important to just be really uh, grateful and um, appreciative towards them for what they're offering. <laughs> so I was just like so pleasantly surprised and had, it was just so enjoyable. I, was, I really regret that my phone ran out of battery and I wasn't able to bring it with me to take some pictures and video while we were out on our little trail ride. And obviously that's not really even ideal, but I told, I did text Craig and tell him we'd be leaving and when we'd be back. But I had to leave my phone here so it got charged up so that I could come to you and bring you this. So, um, <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit more about these hoof boots. And we use these when we're traveling, um, when our horses are in the trailer, you can put pads in them of different thicknesses. We use these when our horses are are having to stand on concrete or asphalt at barrel races and ropings. <laughs> oh, thanks, Billy. Um, so we use these when our horses are in the trailer. We use them. Um, we try to always park somewhere where our horses can stand on grass when we're at a barrel race. Um, but these are just amazing. The other thing that I really love about these, um, more than like clouds or soft rides, is that they're made to be ridden in. So I do not ride in them necessarily in an arena. I wouldn't have chosen to use these out in the long grass today because they basically add a little bit of weight and mass and, it, and lengthen the breakover. You, it is, there is potential there depending on the footing for your horse to trip or stumble or overreach and so forth. But you can... You can definitely hop your, on your horse and ride them from point A to point B at a barrel race or, or whatever. Um, and they're, they've been amazing. They played a huge part in .com's rehab from navicular issues and really getting the health of the rear, the caudal part of his foot healthy again. It would be really difficult to rehab a horse in that position without these. And so we have like four pairs of them and several different sizes. They last forever. They're just amazing. And um, so... The, uh, these are Easy Boot Gloves from Easy Care. Pistol wears, right now he wears the size one wide on the front, and the backs are uh, 0.5 wide on the backs. So let me just go through the comments. Yeah. <laughs> So, 
I love hearing from all of you and um but yeah like I said when I was just riding this morning I was just like so thrilled with how he was given that this is like his fourth ride in a year he um during that huge length of time when he was off for so long and I wasn't able to offer him the level of exercise or the leadership and the things I wanted to prepare him like he definitely did backtrack with his confidence in those kinds of situations like we went into today and um, I was just so absolutely thrilled with how present and relaxed he handled it you know he was curious but just walking marching along with his head down and um, it was like so enjoyable and I was so so appreciative um, to him for that and so and again, I was reminded just as I'm riding by these crystal clear the little streams in the ditch and there's this like canopy of trees and the light was filtering through and uh, the sunlight and it was just beautiful. And I was just reminded that like there's so much more to all this than barrel racing. And it kind of brought me back to like days, you know, when you're young and a little bit more carefree and you feel like you have time or your horse has the soundness to be able to just take off and do, go wherever, do whatever, you know, but just head over the mountains and, you know, over the hills and everything. And um, I'm just reminded that we need variety too. And so... Going back to the variety thing, um, keep in mind horses like .com, who are by nature not as confident, really thrive on more consistency, which is really calming uh, for them and helps build their confidence, whereas the more laid back horses like Pistol really thrive on having variety. So anyway, between um, the consistency variety thing, a few of my favorite products for either amping them up a little or calming them down. And then some things that I wanted to share about my favorite hoof boots. Those are all the things that came to mind today. So, anyway, I hope <laughs> I hope this has been um, interesting and helpful. And we are chances are we are going to um, need to go to the covered arena for our workouts next week. So I'm looking forward to that. And, um, but today I'm just like so thrilled because it was really a test of where he's at mentally and emotionally and he just passed with absolute flying colors and I'm so, so grateful that we're on track um, in that sense. It's, uh, it's rewarding um, definitely to, to feel like we're a step ahead in that area. So anyway, we'll be back um, Monday morning with another episode of Pistols Progress. So thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you then.